Oh, insider trading. Mm. What do y'all think about insider trading? I don't know. French Hill did better than Nancy Pelosi this year. Let me tell you what. For Rizma, for their family members. A little bit I know about that. It's um, it's amazing to see people go up worth about two or three hundred thousand dollars or whatever they're worth, and then all of a sudden, after ten years, they come out multi-millionaire. How's that possible? That's possible because we're able to do what's called insider trading to sell individual stocks. They can do, I mean, um, Nancy Pelosi has made a ton of money, hundreds of millions of dollars on it. That's why she's so, so wealthy. That's why she's the Speaker of the House, because guess what she does? She goes to the other House members and she helps them with their election. Oh, oh okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. All right. But that's what she, that's what she does. So, I want a ban on all congressmen and their families buying individual stocks. Anything that they have oversight over or control or have some way of knowing what the inside scoop is, no. Mutual funds, I think mutual funds are okay. That's not a problem. But I do have a problem with individual stocks, buying individual stocks. And um, I don't know, I think Mr. Hill is going to talk about his, uh, the chart that came out. What was that chart? Unusual whales, they look at stock trade. Have y'all seen that chart? Yeah, I have. You said unusual. Okay. I should learn a couple of whales. Yep. And what it does is it ranks, it ranks all of the congressmen and senators in how much they beat the standard and poor yearly interest rate. Right? Yeah. And oh, she's, the average she's higher than the yeah. average. Pelosi is not the highest. No, she's no. a bit higher. Yeah. You know who's number three? Number three. Yeah. You know who's number three? French Hill. No. He beat Pelosi. Yeah, now I don't know how much money he made, but I know that he did really well. He made a really good guess on something. Or maybe I don't know. And he'll have to explain that. I think he's going to try to explain his position on that. But to me, being in the military, and those of you who have been in the military know what I'm going to say. Perception is everything. He shouldn't have done it because of perception, unfortunately. It looks like he is benefiting and profited, profited off of his position, which is off of our vote here in the 2nd District. That's not his seat. That is not his seat. That seat belongs to all of us. He should not profit from that at all, in my mind. He needs, you know, salary, great. We pay salary. And uh, Washington, D.C. is extremely expensive to live. I have no problems with the salary at all. Um, I, I don't. But I do have a problem with them benefiting from inside information and nobody is holding them accountable for that. So, I'll never do that. I'm just going to tell you right now. You, I think got my word now. I'll never do that. So, because it's not important, because I, the perception is more important to me. I want the people of the second district to know I'm not there to profit. I'm there to make a difference and try to do our the best I can to save our country. And, and I need your help to do that, all of you, uh, and your friends, and your friends' friends. And you've got to tell them. And, uh, and I volunteer help whatever you can. Yes, sir. Okay, now what if they tell you 